Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. Today I want to look at how you can adjust different games uh, to use views. And it so turns out there are two tutorials I made which do not handle views very well. Uh, the first one uh, I made was this light tutorial here. Uh, as you can see it seems to be working alright, but as soon as you walk uh, and move the view around, uh, it seems like the lights are following you around, which is not what we want. And the torch which is supposed to be at the player location uh, is uh, offset by uh, the same amount. So we're gonna have to look at how we can fix that. But before, I want to have a look at the other project a lot of people have been asking me about, which is this um, the adventure tutorial, which uh, if unfortunately crashed. However, if we launch again, here you go, you can see that it seems to be working right uh, as always, but again, if I move my view, uh, I cannot seem to be able to work with it. And you can see that, uh, again, it's a problem of numbers being offset. So you can see that if I start moving the, the view around, uh, it's getting offset by how much the view has moved. So we're going to look at how we can fix these uh, things um, in two separate sections. And we're first going to be looking at the inventory project. So this one's actually quite simple to fix. If we open up our inventory object, uh, we have three, di four different events actually that use the mouse location. And uh, if we open it up, you can see that uh, when we calculate the slots, we're just using the basic mouse X. However, if you start moving your view around, then mouse X is gonna increase with your view and it's not gonna give the correct results anymore. So what we want is get our mouse X position in our GUI. And to do this, we have a nice little method, which is called device underscore mouse to GUI, like so. So device mouse X to GUI, we want device zero. And we have device underscore mouse Y to GUI with device number zero. And what we're going to do is create two new variables called GUI underscore mouse underscore X and set it to device mouse X to GUI and GUI underscore mouse underscore Y and set it to device mouse Y to GUI. So what we want to do now is replace all of our mouse X and mouse Y with these two variables. And so we're gonna use in, we're gonna use this little icon over here. It's a little uh, magnifying glass, which allows us to search for different words. So we're gonna look for mouse X and you can see it's highlighting all of mouse X. We wanna replace it with GUI mouse X, so like this one here. And so we're gonna press replace all and it's gonna tell us that it replaced all of mouse X with GUI mouse X. And the same with mouse Y, replacing it with GUI mouse Y. And we basically have to do the same thing for the next event. So I'm gonna copy uh, these two lines we just wrote and go to the right pressed event, paste it in, click on the little magnifying glass and again, mouse X is gonna be replaced by GUI mouse X and mouse Y is going to be replaced by GUI mouse Y. Move on to the global left released event. We can do the same thing once again mouse Y with GUI mouse Y and mouse X with GUI mouse X. Finally, we have to do it inside the draw GUI event and this is so that uh, we're actually drawing it inside the GUI uh, when we have our slot. Uh, so we can just simply paste this and do it one last time. All right. So now, if we start uh, playing the project again, you can see it uh, still behaves as usual, but now if I move my view around by moving my character, my mouse is still aligned correctly. I can start using my items like I should be able to and move them around in my view, in my inventory, which is exactly what we wanted. So, now that this uh, product is out of the way, I, I'll just close it down and we're gonna have a look at our lighting 
project. So if I press play again, we can uh, analyze what is going wrong. So if you remember correctly, we're essentially redrawing the whole game world with our lighting shader inside our GUI event, and we're using a surface to do so. And each of our light have their own uh, surface that are, well, all of the lights are being drawn on a separate surface, which is aligned to the view. So if you're moving your view around, the light's still gonna be drawn on that same surface. So what we want to do is actually offset the drawing of our lights. So let's press close here and open up our lighting object. If we go into the draw event, we can see that here we set the surface target and then we're drawing our lights. So what we want to do is first of all, we're gonna, um, we're going to fix our uh, purple lights by simply going uh, in the positions, X and Y positions of the draw events, we're going to ch change obj x to obj x minus view underscore x view. And the same with obj y. We're simply going to subtract view underscore y view. The next step is to fix our individual light from obj light. And to do so, we're going to have to replace this draw self with draw sprite x. We're going to have the sprite be sprite underscore index. The sub image is image index. The x and y position is going to be x minus view x view. And the y position is going to be y minus view y view. And for the rest, we're going to use the default values of image underscore x scale, image y scale, image angle, image blend and image alpha. And close brackets, semicolon. Now we press OK and play it. We should see that um, everything seems to be still behaving the same, but as soon as I move the view around, the lights actually stick to the ground rather than floating along with the view. So this is the basics behind making uh, different engines and different scripts working with views. So if it's to do with mouse input, uh, you could see with um, our other projects that you could simply use the GUI position of the mouse in order to fix it. And if you're looking at a at drawing events and stuff like that with uh, when you're using surfaces, you simply have to offset your drawing so that it goes from um, world view from world uh, dimensions to uh, a more to the surface dimensions that you're actually using. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please give it a like and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time for some more game maker tutorials.